the best ways to work and engrave on glass is to use copy paper. The reason for this is that we don't want the heat of the laser concentrated in one area as it may crack the glass. So using something like the masking material, which is seen in other lessons, the liquid mask or the laser tape, helps to distribute the heat. Well, if you're not using a mask, the next best way and cheapest way is just use copy paper. So cut the piece of paper to the size that you need it. Place it on your item and use a water bottle. I got that one at Target for a dollar. Generously wet it down and again this will help distribute the heat of the laser across the surface and not intensifying on in one particular area. I will place this in my laser bed and I will not use air assist. The heat of the laser as it is engraving will start to dry the paper and if you have the air assist going it's going to start making the paper go up and down in the laser. So leave it like this, engrave it, and then just remove the paper when you're done. You can also use smaller areas and this again I will just spray liberally and place that into my laser bed. Okay, so here in the engraved item, using the wet copy paper to displace the heat and has come out of the laser, I just simply remove the paper and I have a nice clean engraving. If I can get a backing that will help it show up on camera. In my picture frame, the only parts that remain are the insides of letters or figures and these are easily removed either by hand or just get a cloth and take that copy paper off and I have my nice etching right there again it's hard to see when the object is clear and I'm trying to show it on camera but maybe I put this darker backing behind it and you can see Tyler and Cooper and some pictures of the finished product.